Hello, my friend. Do you ever have those moments where you feel a little sad or angry and it doesn't feel good to feel that way? So you want to change something about yourself so you don't feel that? Or maybe you're wanting to accomplish more or have more than you have in the past and you're wondering like, what can I adapt about myself so that I could magnetize more of that success or the things that I want? Or if you're like me, you go to lots of personal development and business development and spiritual development programs and you're constantly changing yourself. So there's a lot of reasons why we might feel inspired to change ourselves, but I also want to talk about the impact that we have on ourselves when we try to change ourselves. Hi Joe, thanks for tuning in. And my name is Avital. I am known as a healing breakthrough facilitator. I am actually out here in Dallas, Texas. I'm sitting at my friend's swimming pool and I came out here on a whim just to have a little fun, but this is really so that I could do some training for business development, getting to do more change, um, but also networking with some really awesome people. And uh, it's such a nice day, I thought I would come outside and give you a little change of scenery than my office that I often share with you. And here's three tips that I want to share with you about changing yourself. The first thing that I feel in all honesty, that the only thing that we need, need to change about ourselves is the feeling that there's something wrong. So there's actually nothing wrong. We're actually perfectly fine as we are. And sometimes it's just a matter of learning to adapt to who we are so that we feel fine with it. Um, I know sometimes it's like, yeah, like I don't want to be settled with just feeling this way or being this way. But what if there's another perspective around that? And just the first question I want to ask for you to consider, to brainstorm, to journal is what is good about your life right now? What is good about who you are? What is the benefit of all the aspects of your life and who you are? Like sometimes I get so set on a goal of something else that I want that I forget to just enjoy the moment to look around me and see actually how amazing things are right now. And I don't even necessarily need to be accomplishing anymore. I don't necessarily need anything else in my life. Like it's so perfect as it is. Now that doesn't mean that we, we need to lose the drive or the desire to try new things or to accomplish things. Um, so I'm not trying to take that away. It's just building the sense of contentment with what is right now so that we don't feel like there's something wrong when there isn't really anything wrong with ourselves. But the other way, I will look at a perspective of we're often not necessarily changing ourselves, but we're just discovering who we are and allowing that to shine. So all of that potential and the changes that we want to go towards, it's really just like a stained glass window with a bunch of dirt on it. And we're just wiping the dirt off, right? This is a lot of what I do when I work with people one-to-one -one in their linguistic programming. And I love how one of my clients, when we started working together, like he, he just wasn't figuring out how to really socialize, how to have friends. And now I feel like he has an even more busy social life than I do. And a lot of people think my social life is pretty busy. Uh, so there's a lot of change that has been happening for him because of just peeling away the layers that block him from being him, which we enjoy him. We enjoy people as they really are, right? Or we find the right people who do. We find the right matches. But the last thing I wanna say about how to change yourself is take the shape of who you want to be, right? The shape of who, who it is inside that isn't quite shining out. And you could do this as a visualization, but just imagine like something that you want in life, something that you want to accomplish, have, you know, draw towards you, like the type of relationship, you know, a house, a car, success in your business. And, but take a moment to imagine that already happening, but then take the shape in your body. So what body position would you be in if you had that? Like what feelings would you have? What thoughts would you think? What sounds would you hear? What smells would you smell? Uh, it looks, what are you seeing around you when you've accomplished that? And take time to visualize that 
because you'll start to feel as if you already have or are that change that you want to be. And then you'll already have accomplished your goal, like boom, right in that moment. And sometimes they say fake it till you make it. So the more you practice taking the shape of who you want to be, then the easier it is to authentically feel that essence within you all of the time. So there you have it, changing yourself. You don't necessarily need to change anything about yourself. You are perfect, uh, but focus more on allowing to shine what is already in there and taking the time to really visualize and embody that so you can feel a greater sense of that deeper purpose inside of you. Please, please like this video and share it with your friends so that they can also understand how they can be the best of who they actually already are. Blessings to you.